At the Institute, there are around 70 scientists who work on malaria to try and develop new drugs and, and vaccines. Malaria is perhaps the biggest problem in terms of parasitic diseases. It kills over 800,000 people each year, more than 250 million people infected, huge amount of economic losses because of that disease. It infects liver cells initially, but then after that, red blood cells, which are the cells that carry oxygen and carbon dioxide from the lungs to the tissues and back again. And so the work done here is basically built up of a number of teams that uh, work together to try and understand the malaria parasite and to develop new vaccines and, and anti-malarial drugs. Over the last 10 years have made great strides in terms of understanding how the parasite can get into those red cells. Because if you understand that, it means that you've got a chance of developing drugs or perhaps vaccines that block that process. And if you block it from getting in the red cell, then it, it dies. And the parasite's incredibly clever. It's like a leopard changing its spots. Not only is it invisible, but once the immune system of the person that it's infected catches up and recognises it, it can disappear again. So continually the host system is trying to catch up with this amazing parasite that can change its spots. So in order to eradicate malaria, it's not just one thing that will do it. It's not bed nets, it's not antimalarial drugs, it's not a vaccine, it's not spraying uh, to kill the mosquitoes, it's everything. And we have to have all of those tools in place to really eradicate malaria and that's a difficult thing and at the moment we don't have a vaccine and so there's one important chunk of those programs missing. So we really need a vaccine to drive malaria down to a point where it can be eradicated.